Today I'm going to be doing my sample empties, uh, sample reviews, and picking new samples for this coming month. Let's start off with the samples that I used up completely this past month. I used up quite a few uh, serum samples. Uh, I used up the Ahava Bright Nights Night Mineral Makeover. I don't think I really noticed anything great about it. I don't think I hated it or didn't like it for any reason, but I didn't notice anything about it that made me want to go out and buy it. These are both by Elizabeth Arden and they are capsule serums. So they're in a little capsule and then you break the capsule and you use the serum inside. And I thought these were both the same, but they're different. So this one here was in gold capsules and I believe this one is more for daytime. Um, I think you can use them day and night as well, but... So this is the Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Capsules Daily Youth Restoring Serum. And I didn't save any to show you, but this is kind of the packaging it came in. When you purchase them full size, they come in like a container. And then they have a bunch of capsules inside. Um, this was nice. I did like it. It's a little bit on the oily side. Um, but I did really like them. I was considering purchasing these, but, but then I tried these. So I really liked these a lot better. And for the price, I don't think they're really expensive. At least to me, they're expensive. So I wouldn't want to spend that much on both. I would pick either or. So in that case, I would choose these. These are the Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramide Capsules line erasing night serum and these are like a pink kind of color and I think there was only two in this one there might have been like five in this one or something but I really really liked these this was a little bit thicker not as oily um and it just I don't know my skin just felt amazing after using this it really really did so these are quite pricey um, so I would only purchase them if I could find like a sale or a discount on them. I do recommend if you can try this out. It's nice, although be warm. You may want to buy it afterwards. <laughs> Last serum that I finished up is by First Aid Beauty and this is the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. And I actually had two of these, but I only used one up completely and I am getting pretty close to using this one up but I am probably about about here so I have here down left I like it but it's not something I feel like I need to go out and purchase um, I'm still going to use it I mean I have another one and I'm totally okay using it up I don't hate it but I don't think I love love it either I don't see it doing too much like it's it's a nice gentle formula I guess if um, that's what you're looking for. So I used up four serum samples this past month. I also managed to use up an eye cream sample. Um, this doesn't happen very often especially not with a thicker one. So this is the Exuviance Age Reverse Eye Contour and I do actually really enjoy this one but I have to be very careful not to apply too much because this will give me milia. I like it because I see results from it and it's I don't see very many results from other eye products that I've used so I really like that about it that it shows results but I don't like that I have to be super careful about how much I am putting on my eyes. Aquaphor lip repair with SPF 30. I kind of feel like I was expecting more from this and maybe that's why I'm kind of like oh it's just okay because I kind of had high hopes for this because it's aquaphor and I don't know I thought it would just be really amazing and it is good. It doesn't work like overnight kind of a thing. Bedhead TIGI Screw It Curl Hydrating Jelly Oil. This was very different for me as far as a curling product. Like I love curling products for my hair, but this one was a gel. It was a very almost liquidy gel and it was just very different texture. 
for me but I loved this this was really really nice I'm kind of sad that it's gone didn't make them look too crunchy it was a good one I would definitely check this out if you have curly hair on to the samples that I'm still currently using Mario Badescu botanical exfoliating scrub I only use this about once a week it says you can use two to three times so once in a while I use it two times but I don't think I've ever used it three times a week I thought I tried it before and I didn't like it but I think the reason why I didn't like it before is because um, I got it in my eyes or something. It is a little bit easy to get in the eyes, so I do have to be careful about that. As I already showed you, I'm still working on my second of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum, and I am pretty, pretty close to being done with this. Just kind of started using this. I haven't been using it throughout the whole month. I just started using it, so there is still some in here. I don't know if it'll be a lot more, but um, this is the Kate Spade New York Live Color Fully. I think that's, you know, what it what it is. And it is actually kind of a nice scent. Fruity sweet in a way. And I don't know, I really like it. I think it smells good. The Clarins Multi-Active Ukes. I feel like I can use a little bit more of this product under my eyes because it is lightweight. Um, so I actually really like how lightweight this is but I'm still testing it out to form more of an opinion on it. I'm also still using this guy. This is the Murad, 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 um, Complete Reform with Glycoforming Complex. I did use this today with my skincare, but I rarely remember to use this. So I need to start using this a bit more. It's a Smashbox a Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and I am still working on this. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't use this that often and I have been testing out another primer recently, so that's why I haven't been reaching for this as much this past month, but I have used it a couple of times, so a little bit of progress. I feel like some of these products I'm gonna go through pretty quickly and so I might as well pull something and show you guys what I'm gonna use for the next month, um, once that runs out. I'm gonna pull for a new sample of the Belief Hungarian Water Essence. And I'm going to use this kind of as my serum, I guess. So I'm kind of looking forward to that one because I hear good things about the brand Belief. I'm pretty sure I'm close to being done with that fragrance. There's really not a lot in these. Um, I'm going to pull for the Mon, Mon, Mon Guerlain Fragrance, the Skin Fix Foaming Oil Cleanser. I did use the clay cleanser from this brand and it was a little bit drying for my skin and for being winter time so I thought maybe I would try the oil cleanser since again it's still winter time and I have dry skin so I'm gonna give this a try. I used up a total of seven samples this past month. I'm currently working on nine samples for this coming month including the samples I just added in today. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please let me know what samples you are testing out. If you've tried any of these products that I mentioned, what your thoughts are on them. I'm always always interested to know so please let me know down below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time. Bye!